One of the most important things in this new update is the basic thing that was missing from the edit page. I'm talking about the ability to manipulate the keyframes like a normal human being. Let's say you've done this incredible animation and you are not an idiot and you can see that this is ugly. In the previous versions, we had some very limited options to work with the keyframes. Finally, someone in the DaVinci team thought that it might be useful for people to be able to adjust the keyframes in the edit page. You can open the keyframe panel, and here you can adjust the timing of the keyframes. You can also add the keyframe view in the timeline to view them under your clip. Go to this left corner menu, and change the view to keyframe curves. After 20 versions, we can now adjust the curve of the keyframes. One thing I've noticed is that if you want to copy and paste your keyframes, you can't do it in the timeline panel, not sure why. But you can do it in this left keyframe window. You can easily duplicate and adjust the new keyframes to make your animation. Another thing is that if you try to move the keyframes position in the timeline window, again, it's not possible, which I don't understand why though. Anyway, this is a beta version, so I guess they will fix a lot of things later. Last thing, if all these parameters are too much for you, open the keyframes menu and select to display only the parameters with keyframes. Now you can see only the things that you've animated. This tool will not make you the motion graphic expert you dreamed of, but at least is something. Another tool that everyone seems so hyped about it is this new Chroma Warper gimmick, just another tool that no one will actually use. New depth map tool, claimed to be better and faster, which I guess it is, because I didn't wait two days to see it, and doesn't look so terrible like before. The new magic mask now works with points, and seems like it is working better than before. Also now we have the subtract paint stroke, and the add paint stroke, these works only on one frame each time so it is very useful if you have some individual frames that you want to fix the mask. One thing that's actually really useful is the new music editor. A lot of times, I struggle to cut the song, to match the duration of my clip. With this new music editor, you can just type in your desired length and trim the song, but who's that dumb to do it manually when we have the live trim box? Just check the box, drag the end of the song to your desired duration, and let the AI demon do the hard work for you. If I zoom in, you can see the cuts, and when I play it back, it actually does a really good job. You've also got different options to choose from. I think this will be one of the most used tools in the new update.